up, y'all? We got a treat today. We are gonna hang out with my friend Nancy in Denver. I was kind of torn. I put a message up this morning. It was like somewhere in between feeling like adventuring and just laying in bed all day. It's been a long, long three weeks getting back acclimated to Denver. But uh, I spent all day yesterday gutting the camper. It was kind of like spring cleaning mode. And I'm gonna make a whole nother video on that. Holy crap, you have no idea what a man and his dog can do. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go scoop up Nancy and uh, head into the mountains. Don't really have any specific plans. We're gonna try and find some kind of hike or something pretty or just some kind of touristy drive. I don't know. East 14th Avenue. Then the destination is on your right. Say what up. <laughs> this is my friend Nancy, and we went to the Saran St. Vrain River, which is flowing under some ice. There's all kinds of cool places to camp back here, and every time I visit this area, I always think of it like Robin Hood's forest. <laughs> this is Sherwood Forest, where people would, this is where the woodsmen would meet up. There's a lot of downed logs and stuff that's been cut down, and thanks to that and the wide open spaces, there's all these rad campsites and it's really close to the trailhead. So you don't have to hike in very far if you don't want to backpack. It's definitely full in the summertime, there's always people here, but they're really cool pads. And the river's right down there below us. It's a little bit chilly in the fringe season, like right now it's mud season, it's so, so wet and nasty and whatnot. But uh, this is a cool spot and it's near Jamestown, Saran St. Vrain Trail. One thing I really love about the fringe seasons in spring, uh, as we go into summer, the colors start to pop out of the forest. So wherever the sunlight hits, then you get growth. And come wildflower season, man, I can't wait. We get so much good footage. Flowers. There's also a mushroom season coming up soon, which is interesting. I've never, never hunted mushrooms, don't really know how. But there is a Boulder Mycological Society. And I've been thinking about checking in with them. They have a program where every summer or spring, you can go out and they teach you how to forage edible mushrooms, which is super rad. Definitely gonna come and do a chill camp out here as soon as possible. I think if you get here close enough in the fringe season when it's still muddy, I don't think you'd really have a lot of company. It still gets really cold at night, down in the 20s, teens, uh, and then depending if there's a spring snow, it could be real real bad. All things considered, one of my favorite places to hike and camp. Let's go, buddy. What? Like the rocks, like I feel like everything falls as if it's beautiful. Yeah, it does. This is a really pretty part. Like you can see some of the water glistening down there. I love it. Glitter. Yeah. I camped here once before. And I have a ridiculous story about that. I was cold, it was freezing cold. I didn't realize how cold it gets at night at elevation. It was like literally my first week in Colorado. And I was scared, so I woke up at two in the morning and my fire had burned out. So I like, I had no light and I scrambled and I picked up a ton of sticks that looked exactly like these dead trees right here. Okay. Problem is that kind of, what's the right word, sticks and limbs and rubbish. When it let, lights on fire, it puts these embers out that float. Oh. And I thought I was gonna light the whole forest on fire. <laughs> Cause I, I had built like a bonfire to, to warm myself and protect myself. So I didn't burn the forest down, but I did all those ashes. They landed on my tent and burned probably 70 holes in it. I spent the next Saturday repairing every single one. You wanna check out the water, dude? Come on, don't be shy. Go for it, go for it. Well, He's being a puss. You can, do it. <laughs> you can do it, buddy. Jump in. What do you think? Jump in. So this is basically the end of the trail. You can keep going a little bit further up to the top up that way. I remember being afraid of a bear here like five years ago. I saw some scat. Big old bear poops. 
does something to your mind, man. We're on the way back up, and we got a little bit of snow wrapped around these cold corners. <clears throat> it was a little dicey earlier. Shiloh pulling me super hard. Almost slid down the mountain. But it's been a really enjoyable hike. It's been fun to catch up with Nancy, and uh, always good to move the body. And we made it, round trip, all the way to the top. Nancy's duck. Are you documenting me? Documenting me, documenting you. Sounds like a song. Yeah, y'all should check this trail out if you come to Colorado. There's, uh, there's always people here, but it's worth it. It's just slightly wild enough to keep your interest. Definitely muddy, especially in that fringe season. Things are snowing and melting, but it's worth it. We'll check you guys next time. Peace.